Move over, Shamar Moore. There is a new hottie on the scene. He is also a soap opera star and was on screen as a love interest to a very popular R&B singer. You're going to know her. And is also now stretching his casting roles. His name is Lamont Archie, and I got a chance to talk to him about his career. Congratulations on all of your success. Um, I kind of want to go back to the beginning, though, because I heard you initially worked as a model, but you worked with Beyonce. Is that right? Yeah, that's <laughs> correct. Uh, I was in the Cater to Cater to You video with Beyonce. Wow. I played her love interest. Wow. Do you look back yeah. and see this like journey that you've been on? What would be like the biggest lesson you've learned? The biggest lesson, you know, it's it's, it's a teachable moment, but um, just to be patient. You know, I think patience is is really key. This is a business where nothing just really happens overnight, at least for most people. Some people it does, uh, but for most people it doesn't. And, you know, patience is really something that you have to have. You have to be driven. And, and that would be the one thing that, that, that I'd say for right. sure, patience. Because you spent about a decade doing soap opera, operas as well, right? I've been on the soap opera. Off maybe in total in total off and on for probably maybe like six years oh okay six okay yeah. yeah i i mean with it being black history month too you were one of the first or the first african-american couple to get married on a soap opera yeah. is that right can you believe that uh well on days of our lives we were the okay. uh, myself and sal stowers we were the first african-american to get married on screen they did have an african-american couple that was married but they were married off screen, so the fans never got to see oh. that. So for us, we were the first one. And also, we got to uh, include a little black heritage. We got to jump the broom on the show as well. Oh, so that you? was really great. Yeah. Oh, Something we were great. very proud of. So now, I mean, I'll take you to present day now because you're on All American on CW. Yes. Um, but you're playing a villain. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I love it. You know, it's, it's you? one thing. <laughs> yeah, on days, I'm totally cookie cutter. Uh, yeah. uh, so it's good to just go complete opposite of that and just play the, the, the guy that no one likes, you know, and everyone has, has an issue with. And, you know, one thing I really like about the villain, usually with, with villains, whatever they're trying to accomplish, whether it be, well, usually it's, it's going to be bad, but <laughs> in their mind, they wholeheartedly believe that they are fighting to make things better for themselves, for their people, or whatever it may be. And that, that goes um, to say with D'Angelo Carter, you know, in his mind, he is fighting to make things better for the school. Mm -hmm. It's just not the way that everyone else wants it. Yeah, that makes sense. And I'm sure when you're trying to frame a character and how to play it, understanding that side is pretty important, I would assume. Very much so, very much so. For people who haven't seen All American yet, tell us what is it about? So funny it's always hard for me to is it? <laughs> it, even even movies people are like what it's about i'm like oh no crash <laughs> mine goes down <laughs> um <laughs> you know it's it's i'm gonna do my best here it's about okay. a um an inner city um a, a kid in the inner city who is a football star and it just basically deals with a, a lot of event, life real life events that are that are going on and, and how this kid who's a football star is able to maneuver the the drama the family drama the the school drama life drama and things all in between and and also love you know high school love and things oh, like wow. that it's really something in this show for everyone to watch. It's not just, you know, for high school kids. So, um, yeah, you know, and there's a lot of other great characters in the show that, that um, you know, help help along the way. And, you know, it's, it's really something that I would say is for everyone with football, you know, football being one of the things at the core that, that drives it. So for football fan, check it out as well. Absolutely, you did a great job with that. <laughs> You're great uh, at describing it. Um, I also have to ask, with the pandemic, I am assuming that doing things with your career is very hard right now. How have you been? You know what? It was it was really tough the first six months when everyone was on complete lockdown. Um, since then, I would say I think it's been se September that we got back to work. Yeah. And I would say the tough thing is, is of course, we're tested every day. Even some day, some days when we're not working, uh, before I, I can't even walk on set without a negative result. We kind of do about a two-hour uh, test. We started off with rapid, um, 
So we deal with that. We deal with basically the lockup in our room. So when we get there, we literally cannot leave our dressing rooms until it's time to go to set. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of different things that we have to deal with, but at the end of the day, it's all about just making sure everyone is safe, making sure everyone stays healthy and, uh, and getting the job done. So, so far we've been able to do it and, and keep everyone safe. So we're just trying to continue down that journey. Yeah. Well, we're thankful for it because all of us are watching so much more TV at home. So thank you for entertaining <laughs> us and for joining us today. For sure. For sure. Thank you. I appreciate it. Absolutely. And you can follow Lamone and his career on Instagram at Lamone Archie. Kristen, what I loved is normally when you go to interview people who are on television celebrities, it's like such a process. And it was just him. He opened up a Zoom and we chatted. It was so nice. Well, it's always fun to hear their stories about the, yeah. the direction, the trajectory that their careers take, right? You never know who yeah. you're going to be partnered with, Beyonce. You never know right. where it's going to lead you. So that's, that's awesome. Congrats to Lamone. We, we love that. That was great, Ellen. Thanks so much.